During your time at university, you will hear a lot of terms you may not be familiar with. This is what we call Melbourne speak. At Melbourne, when we talk about a course, we mean the Bachelor of Commerce, or the BCom, as we often call it, not a subject. A typical subject in the BCom is one semester long and is worth 12.5 credit points. In total, you will complete 24 subjects in your BCom, completing 300 points unless you have been granted advanced standing. You will study several compulsory subjects that everyone in the BCom must complete, such as introductory microeconomics and organisational behaviour. These are core subjects. You will also study subjects required for your major. These are called commerce electives. You will study subjects from other faculties. These are what we call breadth subjects. Not sure where to start? How about thinking about the course rules? As you can see, there is some flexibility in how you plan your BCom. However, you do need to meet set point requirements at each level. For example, you must do at least seven level one subjects and no more than 10. Level one subjects are generally subjects that you will do in your first year or year one. Level two subjects in your second year or year two. Level three subjects in your third year or year three. It is not unusual for students to take, undertake level one subjects in their second or third year. You will normally take 50 points or four subjects per semester. This is required if you want to finish your degree in three years. All students need to complete introductory microeconomics, introductory macroeconomics and organisational behaviour. These are compulsory subjects that all students that are studying the BCom must complete. There are two ways that you can meet the BCom's quantitative requirement, the standard path and the maths path. If you take the standard path, you will need to complete quantitative methods one at level one, and then one of quantitative methods two, introductory econometrics, business decision analysis, or market and business research at level two. If you are passionate about maths, you can complete a series of math subjects to meet the quantitative requirement. Which subjects you will need to study at level one will depend on what maths you have completed at high school. A large part of your BCom is studying subjects that will lead towards your chosen major. A major is a sequence of subjects in a particular discipline that you will take from an introductory level through to an advanced level. You must complete three specific level three subjects to complete a major, generally taken in your final year. Majors are available across six disciplines, accounting, actuarial studies, economics, finance, management and marketing. You are able to combine two majors in two discipline areas or what we call a double major. It is not possible for you to combine actuarial studies with full accreditation and another major. Also, if you are thinking of pursuing actuarial studies major, you will need to start it from your first semester. If you are thinking about accounting, you should enrol in an accounting subject in your first or second semester. The first year of your BCom is a great way to try some different subjects from each of the majors. You don't have to decide on your major in your first year, but it is a good idea to start thinking about it. In your BCom, you will need to complete a minimum of 50 breath points or four subjects with an option to take up to 100 points or eight subjects. One key thing to remember is that you cannot complete more than 37.5 points, that's three subjects of breadth at level one. Breadth subjects are subjects chosen from outside of the Faculty of Business and Economics. For example, you might choose a music, a science, or a law subject. These are subjects taught by different faculties. It is important to note that there is a difference between commerce electives taught by FBE and breadth electives taught by another faculty. Breath is an opportunity to develop expertise aside from your commerce program. 
and allows you to explore other areas of interest. You can choose subjects from different faculties or choose to follow a particular breath track. A breath track is a sequence of subjects that may allow you to apply for graduate studies in other disciplines, such as engineering and property and construction. How do all these things make up your study plan? Remember, you'll need to do four subjects in each semester if you want to finish in three years. The level one core subjects are a good place to start. You might want to study introductory microeconomics in your first semester and introductory macroeconomics in your second semester. If you are taking the standard quantitative path, you can enroll in quantitative methods one in either semester one or semester two. If you are thinking of pursuing the maths path, you should start with the maths subjects in your first semester. Next, you should add a commerce elective. If you have an idea of what major you would like to pursue, check the BCom planner and see which level one subjects you need to start that major. It's okay if you don't know which major you would like to do. The great thing about the BCom is, is that you get to try different level one subjects before you have to decide on which major you will do. With your last subject for your first semester, you might want to add another commerce elective or a breath subject. Not sure which one? Check out the university handbook.